guys may ask yourself why all our alligators are in this tub right here. And I tell you what, they are definitely feisty little monkeys. Well, the truth is we had a little bit of an incident. You can see that uh, we are missing a pane of glass here. And what happens is sometimes the glass gets stuck and it's kind of hard to push. And unfortunately, uh, when we were pushing, it fell down and it broke. So obviously now the alligators were getting out of the cage. And we're like, oh my gosh. So we scrambled, we put them in here. So today I'm gonna have to probably just do some makeshift thing because it's probably gonna take me a day or two to actually replace the glass here. I'm gonna have to get some like plexiglass or some kind of acrylic thing. I think I might have something downstairs, cut something in here just to get the alligators back in here. Uh, you know, I'm surprised that over a year being here that this hasn't happened or any other cages haven't happened where we've had this issue. But this is the very first time Thankfully, no one got hurt, no animals got hurt, and uh, we'll get it fixed in a minute here. So uh, first thing I'm gonna do is measure this up, see if I have some plastic downstairs, cut that up so I can get the alligators back in. Then I'm gonna try to find some other glass. Well, unfortunately, this was the piece I was hoping that was gonna be big enough to actually repair it. Uh, obviously, it's probably big enough this way, but it's not big enough this way. So I'm gonna probably have to run to the store and actually grab some plexiglass. Th again, this isn't gonna be like long-term, just to keep them in the cage until the glass comes, because it usually takes two or three days for the glass to get cut and show up. So I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else here, but I think this was my only hope. Uh, well, let, let me take a look. I could probably use this if it's big enough. Let's see. Nah, it's just quite not big enough. I'll just keep looking around. If I can't find anything else, uh, I'm gonna have to head to the store. What you got? Look at that. Look at her little red and green ribbon. That is really cute. Let's Pretty see. cute. Should we go clean speedy? Yeah. Let's do Let's it. Let's do it. All right. It's bath time, guys. This little tortoise is disgusting right now. At least once, at least once a week, we gotta bathe this guy. We soak him, wash him down. He poops and pees wherever he wants. He'll walk in it, he'll fall asleep in it. The bottom of his shell gets a nice little layer, so we gotta keep him clean, you know? Okay, as you can see here, I have my beautiful assistant, Mary. Hello, Mary, thank you, of course, always. I'm mean, this is a two-person job, because it's really hard, he's, he's pretty heavy, you can't really hold him and do everything at the same time safely. So what I do first is I'll have Mary come with the old scraper, preferably over a trash can. I mean, this is, oh man. We'll get them scraped off, we'll get them soaked, we'll scrub them down. We usually have some green little scotch bright. we'll kind of scrub them down, make sure he's 100% clean, and get him on his little tortoise way. He loves his bath so don't let him fool you. He sits in there, he doesn't even want to come out half the time, I swear, he just kind of sulks in his own filth. Probably been about four days now, so as you can tell, it's getting pretty, getting pretty hairy. Well, here's the funny thing, Eric, is that like, I always wanted a sulcata tortoise. Yeah, no. I told my mom, I'm like, you should get a sulcata. Yeah. And I honestly have, I'm, I'm changing my mind. I think she's down, so, is she down in Florida? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Uh, more power to her, because if you can keep these outside, you just let, leave them out there, let it rain a little. Yeah, yeah but like inside, they'll tear your house they'll up. They'll tear man. your house up. I've heard people I, tell me yeah. that they'll, they'll rip the drywall <laughs> straight out of your house. They <laughs> definitely, definitely will, man. I would not, I always wanted one too, and then I met little Speedy. Okay, he's squeaky clean. Another 15, 20 minutes, we'll probably have to soak him again. We'll get him gently set down here. You all right? And he's off. Let's be free, little guy. Real beautiful sight there, but uh, we'll get us kind of cleaned up here. And I just can't wait for the summer. We can bust the old power washer out, you know? <laughs> Oh my God! What did you do? That's I touched it. <laughs> You're you married, touch? damn it! What did you Dude, touch? I was like, help me rinse off the bottom of Speedy, and I lifted him up, and it flapped over, and it got both his of wee -wee. us. You touched his wee wee. Yeah, I got wee wee water Mary. on it. It flapped. It was like Mary a little... touched another yeah. wee wee. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's it. We're done. Adam, Adam, we're out of here. Look 
how absolutely adorable these guys. And this is a feisty little monkey. I mean, he is just a little biter. Of course, this is uh, African black house snake. And I love house snakes. There's all kinds. There's auroras, there's the black ones, there's brown ones. There's really all kinds. And now there's, oh my gosh, look at this dude. He is crazy. This thing has got such an attitude. And now there's a bunch of color mutations as well. So I'm looking forward to getting into more of the cool house snake morphs and different localities and stuff like that in the coming years because they really are cool. And honestly, usually they're very, very docile, but these are the black ones. They're almost like the Mexican black king snakes, but in an African house farm. Whew. What are you doing, you little monkey? This thing is crazy as can be, but it's really cool. We got six of these a while ago, and they are doing so absolutely well, crushing food. I mean, just a cool little thing, and I cannot believe how insane this little dude is. Unbelievable, super happy to be working with these, but you can definitely ensure yourself that I'm gonna be getting more house snakes in the coming months. Just a little snake update today for a few things. This is actually the Applegate San Diego gopher snakes that we got a while back. Unbelievably beautiful gopher snakes. I mean, these are definitely one of my favorites when it comes to the albinos for sure. As they get older, this kind of purplish stuff turns really white, really high contrast, really cool snakes. You know, they'll get four, four and a half foot, so a relatively sizable colubrid, but not too big. You know, they're not as big as say bull snakes or something like that, which is in the same kind of genus, uh, but absolutely incredible. As these guys get older, they're gonna just get better and better. I cannot wait till they're adults and hopefully we can produce some babies. Super excited about gargoyles. You guys know that I am into the gargoyle geckos and uh, we finally got yeah, some eggs from some of the really good ones. So this is one of our Dracula line. They're both the Dracula line. Dracula uh, Deadpool one hasn't given us anything yet. She's still super chunky. Nice. Uh, but this is one we produced last year, the male that we've got it to. It's a that's red awesome. base. Right. And then this is the female that, that yep. they Oh my god, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, so she's beautiful. This yeah. is the male for the other pairing. Gotcha. So it's just cool to finally have some of the like, really red line, beautiful animals uh, to finally produce eggs. I mean, it's super cool. Oh my gosh. And then so we got eggs from her. She that got eggs from yes, that one? I'm oh excited my. about this pair. Holy cow, that one is gorgeous. I wish we had a male as beautiful as her, yeah. but maybe next year. That is awesome. <laughs> so, so it's cool that we finally have some eggs from those lines. Uh, you said Deadpool hopefully is coming up. So with any luck, we'll get some Deadpool stuff here pretty soon. Uh, excited, we got a, other, a lot of other cool geckos yeah, too, right? Yeah, we've got a lot of stuff from Tiki's actually that we're growing out. It'll be really nice awesome. next year. And then uh, some other stuff we're lime breeding that I'm super excited about. Awesome. Can't wait for babies. They just still slime. You're like, ah! So <laughs> I feel theory, I think the tortoise is actually the one that should be exactly. making it. Exactly, that's what I was going to say. You inappropriately be... touched the tortoise. Yeah. So, why was it out? Well, why to reach it? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Maybe Speedy Ugh. feels violated at this point. Okay, Beth, we're going to have to write Mary. Oh. Mary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's yeah. going to get care fronted there. Yeah. Just put it right on yes. her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How was it, Mary? She it said it was gross. better than anything she's felt at home before. <laughs> We're done. Feisty snakes today, that's for sure. We got these little baby black-headed pythons just recently. This is from the same friend of mine that actually produced the blackheads before. It's Snap, Crackle, and Pop, and of course, Crispy. So we got three of these little babies right now. I think I'm gonna hang on to one of them because they're absolutely incredible. Uh, maybe I'll hang on to this feisty little monkey here because I like his attitude, and we'll probably have one or two of these up on the website. So for the first time ever, we'll actually have a black-headed python available at BHB because we've never bred these before and I've never bought any babies, but uh, uh, these guys are unbelievable. Again, and an Australian python. They'll get about, you know, eight foot or so, pretty sizable, but not much bigger than say a Coke can or something like that thickness, but really cool animals, super cool. As a matter of fact, one of the new big displays over at the new expansion at the Reptarium might be a black-headed python display. I'm pretty excited about that, but aren't they absolutely cute? And this one here definitely has a little attitude. Come on, little monkey. It's good to be back at BHB after the travels and the holiday and all that stuff. So I get a chance to just kind of look at a bunch of cool snakes and I'm like, oh my God, it's so cool. And of course, these are some little baby Doomerals boas. I love them. You guys know that we have a couple over at the Reptarium, but these are fresh babies, only about a month, month and a half old. Another animal that we haven't put up on the website yet, but will go up on the website. I mean, Doomerals boas are incredible. Again, about the size of a common boa, roughly in that sense. But I think that their temperament is just absolutely amazing. They're such unique animals. And again, Again, the pattern and the color in these guys are absolutely breathtaking. So uh, a cool boa that you don't see around too often. 
This guy is turning out so amazing. This is actually a Flamingo Pastel Jungle Motley Bow that a buddy of mine gave to us a while back and it is just looking so incredible. I've always loved the Motley Bows. They're an incomplete dominant animal. So there's a super form. A lot of times the super forms are a little bit messed up to be totally honest with you. But the fact that you can breed this in the first generation, you get Motley. Same thing with the Jungle. So this is a powerhouse male for sure. It's got some really incredible genetics behind it. And just take a look at that tail pattern and oh my gosh, that thing is so cool. I love boas. This one might one day go over to the Reptarium and boas are what we're going to use mainly for the snake massage over there. And so I need a couple cool boas. So maybe in a year or so, this guy will have a job over at the Reptarium. What are you guys talking about? Dude, I can't, don't let him. St what happened? So I had a nightmare. You know, I like to watch like demonic stuff, right? Like scary stuff. Yeah. yeah so I was on YouTube. Right before you go to bed? Yeah, well, usually it's... Well, no wonder why you get like... <laughs> I know, it's weird, You're though. summonsing the demons. But listen, I was watching Sam and Colby. Okay. Oh, Sam and Colby, friends of mine. Yep, and I've been on Sam and Colby. This, like, uh, demon castle. I'll just call it that. Oh! And, um, anyways, it was really scary. And I go to bed right after I watched that. And then I had this dream, dude. Oh, oh my god! It's the face! And then you run out, right? You're running, and you're like, It's the face! It's the, the face! The face! And I'm like, What face? I, I know, know, exactly. Man. And I'm like, What's the face? What does that mean? What does that mean? And then you get in your bed, and you're like all curled up, like, I'm not getting out of here. Like, <laughs> this I'm, is scaring me, and it's not even and real. I'm like, What is the face, Dad? And you're like, It's the face. It's been following me my whole life. And I'm like, what the heck does that even mean? So I'm laying in the bed next to you because I'm like, oh, I'm Jesus. not getting out of here. So I talked Laura into going to the store because it's a busy day for me over here. Uh, she got us a new piece of plastic. It's, it's, a, it's a little bit flexible. I'm a little worried about them pushing their way out. But again, we'll kind of secure it up at least to just keep them in there for the next day or two. And then uh, we'll get the glass tops and put it in. So now I just have to cut it up. Hopefully it fits and hopefully we can get the gators back in their enclosure. up let's hope my measurements are right uh this is when i get nervous you know what they say right uh measure once and cut twice <laughs> let's hope they don't want to get out because uh but it, it, it'll work it, it should keep them in there at least but uh definitely a little sketchy at least we'll have a way to keep them inside. <laughs> Looks right. good though. I mean, it'll it'll work. It'll ki at least keep them in, you know. Yeah. So, all right, let's uh let's put the gators back. I'm sure they'll be happy. Maybe not like being in here. That's for sure. Hey, little monkeys. Oh my God, how do you even go about it? There's like literally not one area that you can get where you're not putting yourself in jeopardy. Look how big is that thing, Brian? These guys are getting so big. Here you go, guys. Here you go. Come on. Here you go. Oh. In the water, babies. There you go. Hi, guys. There you go, sweetheart. Ah, there you go. They're actually very well behaved. I mean, look at how incredible they are. Wow. I tell you what, it's amazing. And you know, it was funny because it was next week will be one year since we got these guys. Uh, I was looking back on some video stuff and it was literally, I think it was January 4th, if I'm not mistaken, that we actually received the shipment of these guys and put them in these tanks. So one year they went from little tiny babies, you know, 55, 60 grams, all the way to these ones. Here's Tildy. She still is so small. She's so cute. This is one I wouldn't mind hanging on to. This is one I usually take to all the birthday parties and stuff like that because she's super well behaved and she's just smaller and kind of cute. So I'll put her up here and uh, there we go. Alligator tank fix for the time being. Again, we'll get some glass cut. No one would ever know that this is plexiglass, so it worked out really well. It's definitely scary. Okay, we might put a piece of tape on that. <laughs> All right, what's this last one? This one's a little bit bigger. Oh, did someone send you shoes? I'm thinking oh, this is a- Oh, oh what? Crap. What the heck? Wait, more weight. Bye bye diet, Brian. Holy Dude. crap. I'm not joking. We have so much candy. This is Somebody crazy. likes Brian. Just the way I was like, I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> after the first of the year, 
<laughs> After water. he puts on that 20 pounds of 20 so, holiday pounds. So now I have no choice but to eat all of this candy before the first day. Yeah, because guess what? It's all white chocolate, and I hate white chocolate. Yeah. All oh, yours, God. except for this well, one. Thank, well, thank you guys. You guys are amazing. Uh, I love that you guys know I love white chocolate. Thank you so much. Keep sending candy. We love it. And, uh, we're gonna have diabetes. I know. <laughs> yeah, we'll send some diabetes pills with that. And uh, we'll do the. We'll unbox some more stuff tomorrow because we have a whole bunch more stuff that you guys sent me. So uh, oh, yeah. thank you guys. I appreciate it. Love you guys. If you like this video, can you do me a favor? Can you go ahead and watch this video right over here? Or you can roll through this entire playlist right here. It really does help my click rate, which helps my channel. And I appreciate you. Over here, you can hit that subscribe button. Turn the post notifications on while you're at it. Have an absolutely wonderful day. You better be kind to someone. You know how that goes. I'll see you guys tomorrow.